guys, good morning. Welcome to the Tokyo Vlog Day 3. In case you guys have missed it, I've been doing daily vlogs here in Tokyo, and today officially is mine and Cal's first day, just us two. Yeah. Yay! Let's go. If you guys missed it, the past couple days we spent time with my mom, which was so much fun, and we had such amazing times, and I feel like we made memories that will last a lifetime. But she went back to Korea this morning, and then she's going back to the States after that. So I've been waking up pretty early because the jet lag has been kicking my butt. Last night, though, I stayed up the latest I have yet on this trip, and I went to bed at 11 p.m., and I woke up at 6 a.m. So I got a good amount of sleep. Hopefully I'll make it through the day. I'll need caffeine and we'll keep pushing and we want to go out later tonight. So fingers crossed I make it. But for now, let's go to breakfast. Bye. Or not bye. See you in a second. We're going to get breakfast and yesterday I wore my pajamas down there and I felt very underdressed and out of place because everyone was dressed nicer. So I put on my outfit for the day to wear to breakfast. I'm wearing these jeans from Good American. They're a little big right now. I wish I had brought that little button that you can, you know, make your pants a little tighter but by the end of the day, I for sure uh, will not need the button, so I think it's fine. They're also a little long, so I just rolled them up at the bottom. I've got on my little Air Force Ones, and then this sweater. I've been really loving my off-the-shoulder sweaters. This one is from Revolve, and it's like a nice little thin cream one. It's got this cute little ribbon on the bottom that you can tie to cinch, and it's like the perfect sweater for this weather. It's like 65 degrees today, and I get hot walking around, so it's gonna keep me nice and cool, but also keep me warm. Hair, I just threw up in a half up, half down. I'm gonna actually like style it later and put my makeup on after breakfast, but let's go. To breakfast. I'm getting these scrambled eggs with sea urchin. Yummy. Looks good. Oh my gosh, you guys, those scrambled eggs were delectable. Breakfast was so good. I don't know about you guys, but when I go to a buffet, I just get so excited about all the different options and then I always overeat. Yesterday morning, I had a huge breakfast and then immediately I got so, so tired. I ended up coming back to the room and I had to sleep for a couple hours because I was just exhausted. I woke up, I had energy, and then after breakfast, I was just really tired. And I know a lot of you guys that watch my vlogs also deal with insulin resistance and PCOS and we all have that in common and I'm so glad that we could all be sisters together in that. Sisters with a C-Y-S-T. But yesterday I told myself that I was gonna try and have a smaller breakfast this morning and see if that affected my energy levels because obviously having a big breakfast, especially like a very carb loaded breakfast in the morning can spike your insulin levels. And if you deal with insulin resistance like me already, then that's just not good. So you guys saw, I had like a little bit of rice. I had a lot of kimchi. I had a little kiwi. I had an egg. I had those scrambled eggs and then a little miso soup for breakfast. And I'm feeling so much better than yesterday already. I think also mixed with the jet lag, it just wasn't good. But if you guys also deal with similar things to me, I recommend maybe a smaller breakfast in the morning, more protein, fiber focused, and I'm feeling significantly better than yesterday. So just a little tip to you guys. Obviously I'm not a doctor, but I am just going off how I feel right now and that's how I feel. Okay, I'm gonna put my makeup on and then today we are having a day devoted to Cal. He was so sweet and took care of my mom and I the past couple days and did basically whatever we wanted to do. So today I told Cal it's his day, whatever he wants to do, we are gonna go there. And he chose a place called Akihabara, which is basically very like anime focused. They have like lots of really fun stores that have like anime things and like all that kind of stuff that he loves. So I'm excited to go with him and I'm gonna put some makeup on. See you soon. Oh wait, also guys, I just realized I'm alone because Cal's drinking his coffee over at the buffet still. So I came back to start my makeup, but I have to talk to you guys about something funny. So I've been posting like TikToks and little Instagram photos and stories obviously while I've been here. And like 99% of the comments and DMs and things that I've received are saying that Cal and I are gonna get engaged on this trip. And just between us, I really did think it was gonna happen at one point, which is why I got my nails done. Everyone's like, Rem, you're getting engaged. You're getting engaged. Your nails, your nails. I would just like to say when it happens eventually, I don't, I don't know when it's gonna happen. It's like his thing to plan and he wants to surprise me fully. I did think at one point it was going to happen on this trip, but then I went back and forth. Did I bring some white dresses and white clothing? Yes. But do I think it's actually gonna happen on this trip? No. Also, it was such a coincidence that my mom was here. Everybody was replying. They were like, oh my God, your mom's coming around me. Like it's totally happening. And then I got in my head because I was like, oh my God, my mom's meeting us here. She told me like a couple months ago and I didn't think anything of it. But then as it got closer, I was like, maybe it's gonna happen. What a weird coincidence. Maybe they planned this and I had no idea. And even when I talked to her about it, she was like, I don't think it's gonna happen. And she was being genuine. She's like, I don't know. Like I haven't heard anything. I was like, maybe they're tricking me. I've been so paranoid. Regardless, obviously she came and she left. It didn't happen. Even like leaving LA, I was truly at like a 10, 90 split. Like I was like, there's a 10% chance it'll happen easier. 10% chance it'll happen. 90% no. I've been teetering. I don't think it's gonna happen on this trip, but I just thought it was funny. So I just had to give you guys the update. Okay, bye. <laughs>
<laughs> Hi guys, okay, got ready. I did little curls in the hair. I just put my hair in like a half up, half down. Good morning. I haven't washed my hair yet since I've been here and it's holding up decently well. The first day I had it down and I curled it and then yesterday I did little like pigtails and then today I'm doing half up, half down. I feel like I have like another day or two with hairstyles and then I'll just wash it. It looks pretty cute. I put this little cream bow in from Urban Outfitters and I really like my outfit today. So I wanna share it with you guys. Makeup wise, I went just normal. I did like a little glitter today though, which is fun. I did show you the outfit earlier, but updates. I found the little button, one where you can make your pants tighter. See how I moved the button over? And I'm so happy because I feel like it just fits my butt a little better, but good American jeans are truly my favorite jeans ever. And I also did cut them with the fabric scissors that I brought. I think it looks cuter than how it was folded earlier. And they already had a frayed edge. And then for the purse, I'm bringing this little vintage Louis Vuitton denim purse. And I think it'd be so cute with the look. And that is the update. It's a Luke. That's a Luke. Will you do an outfit of the day for them? We got these pants. I went very try hard today. No! I got like a um, cowboy bebop long sleeve shirt and I don't remember where this button up was from. I don't know. Want me to look? It was in Arizona. Oh, I, I didn't know what it was called, but it's cute. Wait, you no, look no, so no. cute. I forget where it is from. <laughs> look at your style. Matt King told me, he was like, do you help Cal dress? Because he has great style. I was like, no, it's all him. Oh, that's so nice of him. Tell them where we're going today, a little. We're going to Akihabara Electric Town. It's where all the weebs are gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> I heard all that. Anime nerd. Anime nerd. Weaves. I want to do a little haul of the things that I bought yesterday. I'm so excited. First off, I got these strawberries, which I've been waiting to do a taste test today with good lighting. So I'm going to do a taste test for TikTok with Cal. We got this box. It was $30 or maybe like 25 after the conversion. These are literally the price of those Air One strawberries. Just crazy. But in case you didn't know, Japan is known for their strawberries. So I'm so excited to try these. I opened them up and then put them in the fridge last night. So they'd stay nice and fresh and they smell like candy. It's crazy. We got those and then I haven't done too much actual shopping shopping yet. I've just been looking around everywhere and seeing what piques an interest and kind of keeping things in my mind that I want to get at some point. But last night I did make my first official purchase purchase of like souvenirs and things and I'm very excited. So we went to Hands which is this, it's described as like a lifestyle store on like maps. I don't know really what it is. It's kind of like a department store but it's got like so many different things and levels. Like what would you compare Hands to in America? Kind of a target. Um, Walmart. They have so many things. They have everything from like cosmetics to like home goods to kitchen things to stationery, like school supplies to food. So many options. There's actually one store. I think it's a different location in Shibuya that I've been to before. And they had a whole floor devoted to pets. And like, I think they even had animals in there, which was really crazy. But anyways, long winded little description of the store. This is everything that I bought. I first got this little pencil case. It's super adorable and everything is not too expensive, but I got this to put all my new little pens in. I also got this little pencil case that's shaped like an otter because I think otters are so cute and Cal loves otters and I just thought it was adorable. So I am going to keep my pencils, my new pens and pencils in here. I also grabbed a new notebook. I got two notebooks actually. I got a bigger one and then I got a smaller one. These are just regular lined paper notebooks, but I figured they'd be great to take notes. I'm a physical note writer. I love writing to-do lists. I love having like a physical thing to check off. I do like my notes app, but I love, love, love a physical notebook. Cal got a knee brace. I love, love, love Asian pens. They're like the best pens, I feel like. These are three packs of, it's like a thin writable marker, and I got three different packs, three different colors. We have like a pastel, a very like traditional solid color, and then kind of a more fun like bright color. Got those. I got, oh, we got these little nose pore strips to try because they looked fun and Cal loves a nose strip and I figured I'd try it with him. And then, oh, I got some extra little pens here. I got highlighters. I got like regular pens. Again, these are all going to go into my little pencil cases, but I got a bunch of like highlighters and things to write with. I'm going to put these in my little work bag and keep them on me at all times. And then I got a couple skincare products. I first got a cleansing balm because I'm almost out of the one that I brought. I didn't check the level of which was in there before I left. And I needed a new one and I figured I'd try. This is the du two duo or just duo, I'm not sure. This is the cleansing balm hut. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh, am I in there? Yeah. <laughs> no, you're good. It's got like a little pop top. Ooh. Oh, I see. That's fun. Little pop top like that. And you can just squeeze it out. Oh, and there's a little spoon. That's actually a nifty little container. Ooh. 
kind of smells like oranges. I don't know, they had a bunch of options. There was like a charcoal one, there was a clear one, there was a white one, but I did this tropical one, I don't even know. And then last but not least, I got this stick, which I am very excited about. It's a sunscreen stick, SPF 50, and I got it in the peach cherry scent. It smells so good, and I figured this would just be perfect for summertime, you know, if I wanna be out on the go and apply it on my face or, you know, my hands, my lips my shoulders, anywhere. Oh my gosh, it's like a jelly. Super, super cool. Very excited. I think I'm actually most excited about this. And they all smelled amazing. And I feel like this is a very popular situation here because they had so many to choose from, but I love it. And they had some that were like a chalky, like typical sunscreen, but I liked this jelly consistency. If you can see, it's like clear. That is everything that I purchased. We're now gonna try the strawberries. If you guys are not following me on TikTok, you should because I am pumping them out while here. Don't worry though also, I'm having so much fun and still enjoying my time with Cal and my family and everything thing and still producing all the content for you guys. So sorry, I'm in a chatty mood today. I am going to put all this away and I'll see you guys out and about. This way. All these steps are getting the heart rate going. Yeah. Let's go. Look how stunning this is also. All this greenery, all yeah. these buildings, all these bridges. It's just gorgeous. Guys, we're underground in the subway station. They have a beard papa. I love beard papa what is beard? in LA. They're like cream puffs, oh. but they're so delicious. I kind of want one. I don't know, is this like a chocolate chip one? This one looks like a cookie. Oh my God, yummy. We're gonna share one. There's a salted black bean cake cream puff. I think I'm just gonna do, ooh, custard cookie or custard pie. Yum. Or you want a chocolate, babe? Oh, look at those rolls. Wow. Oh my God. All right, first bite. I can't believe you've never had a beer papa free puff before. Is Here. that like only in Japan? <laughs> no, it's in LA. Oh really? Yeah, I've never even seen it. It was like one of my first things I tried in LA when I moved. It is delicious. Mm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Really light and airy. Oh. Mm. They're like a buck fifty. What a deal. We are trying to find a trash can, but while walking around to try and find one, I just love that there's so many little restaurants and shops within the little subway area. Look, you can just grab a little onigiri. We made it. Electric town. We have arrived. How are you feeling? I feel the weeb is growing in it's me growing. right now. It's, <laughs> it's growing. It's growing. <laughs> so excited. We don't really have a way in which we're going, aren't we just kind we of? We kind of do. Okay. <gasps> Look at this, Cal. Oh my gosh. Look at this store. Oh yeah. Tamashi Nation store. Very cool. Wow. That is crazy. I found Sailor Moon. I swear this whole trip, I am just thinking of things to buy Ollie. And I'm like, he would like this, and he would like that, and he'd like this. <gasps> Ollie. These are literally the costumes that Cal, Ollie, and I were gonna wear for Christmas, or for Christmas, for Halloween last year. This is beautiful. Crazy. Wow. Hello Kitty Daifuku. Oh my goodness. Yum. <gasps> so cute. Look at all these Nintendo 3DS games they have here. Shane, if you're watching this, I am having a major throwback right now. This looks like something I would have played back in the day. <laughs> this looks like something I'd play right now. <laughs> Look what I found! Nintendo! I found a piggy bank where you put the coin on. And look who pops out to take the coin. <gasps> I did get one for myself. Oh, okay. Look at this little uni magnet. It's so realistic looking. I did buy the piggy bank for me, and I got one for Ollie, and I got one for Tesco. Couldn't decide for lunch if we want to do sushi or tempura, so we're doing both. Because yep. <laughs> they're right next to each other. Ooh, wow. <gasps> this is so cool. Okay, we put our names in at the tempura place, and now we're at this sushi place called Abudi. Oh my god, that looks so good. I want that. I'm really craving Toro. That's why I wanted to be here. Also, Cal went to the bathroom, so I'm gonna order for us <laughs> with wasabi always. Oh, small rice. That's nice. There we go. More room for more fish. And I love it because you sit down, you've got matcha powder. You guys know I'm a matcha girl. A little spigot for water. You can make your own little tea right where you sit. I should probably put the powder in first. But yay! I just can't get over all the sushi selections here. Oh my god, overflowing snow crab. That sounds amazing. Everything looks so good. There are so many options. <gasps> seared tuna roll. The seared fish looks good. My mouth is actually watering. <gasps> the shrimp options. That looks good. I'm getting that. Look at this, you guys. We've got the... Toro sampler, more Toro, seared salmon. Mm. It looks so good. Yep, happy cow. Oh my goodness, I accidentally ordered two of these for each of us, but I'm not complaining. We're now on to second lunch, and my 
accidental extra ordering that I didn't mean to order made me fuller than I wanted to be, but that's okay. Maybe I'll get something little. <laughs> All right, we got little tempura sets and they gave us this little paper on how to eat tempura, which is so cute and sweet of them. The radish, it's like my favorite part. It's so yummy. We got a little salad, a little lemon, a little sauce. Wow, it looks so good. We've got all the tempura, rice, lemon back there, sauce, pickled veggies, and soup. Ollie loves this little octopus, and I found a black one, and I want to win it for him. Come on, come on, come on, yes! Hey. Oh, yay! Yay, he's gonna love it, it's perfect! I love these little fall games so much. They're just so adorable. We've actually won quite a few today. We'll do a haul later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, there's just so many floors to this place. Oh. Cal won a figurine of Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man. And I won this for him. And he won me two bears. This is so fun. Yeah. We're doing a little photo booth. Eat. 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 We couldn't find the pictures. And as we're walking away, I saw them through the little fun editing is. Please look at these, you guys. From the beginning, honestly, like, cute. And then it just gets progressively scarier. Oh my god. <laughs> They're all done. <laughs> I love it. That is amazing. The way that the sun is now setting, because we were in the arcade for so long. A long time. A long time, but it was so fun. And now we're getting a little coffee for a little picnic up because we're getting a little tired and then we're gonna decide where to go next. I'm finally ready for a hot coffee because it's cold out. I think I'll get this latte. Hot latte. My first hot ooh, drink experience from a convenience store here. <gasps> a little steam. Mm. It's just coffee. <laughs> yeah, less latte, more just like coffee. Yeah. But it's good. Wow. I found the daisy figurine that they, it wasn't working at the other place. It is more expensive, but I have to get a daisy. Five bucks. Almost. <laughs> Let's open her. One, two. <laughs> He's waving at me. Aww. It's a daisy. <laughs> I love her. Hello, guys. Okay, we're back in the room. I took my makeup off. I chilled on the bed for a little bit. And I think we're just going to have like a chill night in tonight because honestly, the past few days have been a lot of walking, a lot of just everything. So I think we're just going to lay low. But Kel just went down to Family Mart and got a bunch of snacks. And um, you got a bunch of snacks. And I thought we could go through it together. Cal would like oh. to do the haul. Oh, I thought we were going to do it together. Okay, let's do it together. Because this is a lot. I went into Remy mode in the store. <laughs> I was like, we are, I'm gonna go all out. We are gonna yeah. be here for a while, so we need lots of snacks. We had no snacks yes. in the room other than my half a pack of peanut M&Ms from the airport when we flew here. Okay, right. let's see them. First thing, mm -hmm. sea urchin flavor, deep fried rice crackers. Oh, that sounds so sounds good. Really good. Also, all Yummy. of this, by the way, including the beer, is like 40 bucks. Wow. Yeah. We got a lot of stuff here. Sweet potato, dried and lightly candied. Oh, yummy. Uh, little looks chips. really good. Oh, I love a sweet sweet yeah, potato. Rich cheese flavored thick cut potato Ooh, chips. Ooh, like a cheesy ruffle it looks yeah. like. Yeah, seaweed flavored Oh, you got the chips. exact ones I wanted. Yeah, I said potato you know. chips, seaweed flavor, the Calbee brand, they should have it. <gasps> Thank you, this is what I wanted right now. I got barbecue flavored, looks like Cheetos. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Corn snack, yummy. Yeah, I wanted to try those. It looks good. I don't know what these are, but I liked the little characters. Oh, <laughs> they the kind of look like maybe like mochi the, or cheese. Yeah, this was in like the candy section. Country ma'am. Salted rice crackers. Yum. Oh, can't go wrong. Good job, babe. Chocolate mushrooms. Duh. Wanted to try them. They're so good. You'll, you're gonna love them. Hello <gasps> Kitty. Uh, chocolate? It looks like a oh, chocolate, it's a chocolate strawberry. Bar. Yeah. Oh, cute. I don't know what these are, but they look fun. Yeah. Chocolate pills. <laughs> Chocolate crunchy pills. Uh, strawberry pills. These are my favorite. Oh, I thought they were like cone shaped ones, but oh, these no. will be good. <gasps> Rich bits sandwiches. Cheese? Oh Cheese. my God, I haven't had those in forever. Oh, yeah. And your egg salad sandwich. Thank you, this is what I wanted. I wanted this and potato chips. I got ham cheese and egg sandwich. Yum. Stars. Ooh. Don't know what it is. Chocolate? I thought it looked fun. Maybe a chocolate bar? Wow, this is a little lot of snacks. 
French fried potato chips. Yep. Yummy. Those look good. Cheese corn puffs. Yum. Very much up your alley. Yep. Cal's a cheese guy. Grabbed these chips. <laughs> Ooh, we got like a Pringle. Another fun character snack. Oh, cute. I love them. <laughs> they look like little Milanos. <laughs> no wonder you were gone for like 30 saw, minutes. <laughs> I saw the face and I was like, yeah. Ooh, Pocky. Some Pocky, some more chocolate. Yum. You said a lot of candy and I went. I took that seriously. You did a great job. I found crunky caramel and cheese. <laughs> I was like, crunky? <laughs> sure. Gotta throw it in the basket. Let's get crunky. <laughs> so cute. And then soy sauce flavored rice crackers. Yummy. What great a, job, what a, babe. What a great finale. No, great job. <laughs> I am most excited, I think, for these potato ones, for the sandwich, and for my seaweed potato chips. Are we having the sandwich now? I'm hungry. Let's do it. Okay. I look up and Cal has put on this Japanese what channel. Is he playing? It's just Where's he going? <laughs> it's just cats. <laughs> and like people watching them. And what did you just say? This is better than most of the national programs in America. <laughs> just cats look doing at that. cat things. <laughs> I love that this is one of the like 17 channels we get. <laughs> you need to get them better rooms though. Look at that. I think they got nothing to play with. 